My head's so messed up, but I can't fold in no fear Got sight set right up on these bands, and I'm gonna use the wipe tears Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a J. Told moms I can't go live no normal life, won't stop till I'm rich Said where were you when I was down bad, and the money coming to me so fast Left the whole she a big dub, straight forward with it, I don't go back Everybody living better, I still remember times when them broke down Tied it on, just come up, I gotta get a bag for the fam now But I got nobody to lean on, got a cold heart in a cold world Ever since you left, I don't know what's next, I ain't found closer I keep a knife in my chest just to cut holes off, I don't know em. Leaving the past, I gotta go now, it's over Left me out here grieving Yo, what's going on with you YouTube? Jumpin' Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. I think these things are called Powder Blue or Dark Powder Blue. Don't, I'm not sure if these things have an official name to it just yet. But I must say, these things are pretty nice. And I feel like a wave has been kind of trending towards the OG lows lately. You know, OG high Air Jordan 1s, you know, some people still like them, some people not, but you can kind of tell that the hype on Air Jordan 1 highs has been kind of fizzling out. But the lows though, man, even though these things aren't going for crazy resale price, I think a lot of people actually really like OG lows. First, I must say, like, I know some people are gonna call this the poor man's Travis Scott fragments. And I guess I can see somewhat of, you know, color blocking. Obviously there's some difference, you know, Heat, you know colors on the midsole and also on the swoosh and even on the laces but if you were to switch the laces the blue is a little bit different obviously but I could just I can see the similarities yes I can see that but still overall I still think this is a great looking shoe good summertime shoe and actually best a good all-around shoe I wear these things in the spring summertime winter time if you look great on feet I, I and I do feel like the trend is starting to go from the lows maybe because you know Maybe the dunk hype has been a little been out there, so some people trying to start to move towards OG lows now. I'm gonna say that I really like this colorway, and I actually I really like the material. The material on these things is not that bad. Like that's the one thing I always hate about the regular Air Jordan One lows with the Jumpman and the big old wing uh, stitched in on the heels. Those the materials is just kind of like okay, but feel like with OG lows, Nike always put that nice, good quality leather on here, which we always love on Air Jordan ones. And just look at this nice little tumbled on the toe box. The color blocking is nice. Craftsmanship ain't too crazy. It just looks great, and these things look great on feet. Past few other Air Jordan low OGs that we've been getting so far this year, I feel like Nike has been really been you know doing their thing with a lot of past colorways. We had. The Mystic Navies, which is also another fire shoe. The Corp, uh, Beach Corals is another fire colorways. Uh, the the smoke dark gray ones, you know, it's okay, but still, I wouldn't mind it. The thing about Air Jordan One lows is because the price is a little bit cheaper than the highs. Highs are now 180 retail, and the lows, I think these things are still at 130. If not, they jumped up to about 140, which is hey, it's still a little bit cheaper than the highs. Are set to release September 28th, a little bit. Uh, two, a couple days after the yellow toe OG highs are coming out and that's another fire colorway I think too as well but this one here I think maybe some people might like these a little bit better or actually might go for these instead of the yellow toes overall I still think it's a great both of them are great looking shoes you know I'm a big fan of Air Jordan 1's starting to become a big fan of Air Jordan 1 lows you can't go wrong with lows they just look so comfortable now and it's becoming the new trend of lows people just really like the lows now maybe because of Travis effect or something I don't, I'm not too sure about that but you know I can see a little bit, especially even last year with the Starfish, another great colorway. I just hope that Nike uh, is gonna pump out some more like maybe some OG colorways. I wasn't able to get like the Chicago colorway and the bread colorway. I would love for them to bring those things back because that's an again, that's another fire colorway with Air Jordan Lowe's. But let's just go ahead, let's get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things and these are nice. These are cool. As I was saying, the material on these things is actually pretty freaking nice. It's basically the same material as it was, like, say, you know, maybe the Mystique Navies. It's basically the same materials on here on the, the black panels here. 
but you guys can see on the toe box here is this nice tumble leather none too crazy though it ain't like the best leather out there that i've seen on the air Jordan one white side panels here on the side nice good smooth leather as well black nike swoosh here and this leather here it looks a little matted but it's not too crazy of materials that I see, not tumbled. On the side panels here is that dark powder blue. You got that wing logo here on the heels. Inner side as well is basically the same. Come with your black flat rope laces, already laced up with this black nylon tongue. And you guys can see you got that black tag with that Nike Air logo in powder blue. Come with the white insole inside and you have that powder blue Nike Air logo inside. Let's come with the extra set of laces here. This is a powder blue i want to say flat rope laces but it comes in this like crazy looking box here you guys you know i'm kind of used to it being a plastic bag to just like hang on the shoe but i'm guessing this is how they're doing it now i guess they're going away with the plastic bag now you got your white midsole stitched throughout and on the bottoms here you guys see it you got that so you have that iconic outsole the air Jordan one outsole basically and it has that embroidered nike air logo onto the middle but it's that powder blue so you already know make sure you guys get on that Drip grip, use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. Save you guys a little bit of money. It is the best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. I wore these at a sneaker show all, all day and it's still good to go. So make sure you guys get on that drip grip. Use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. Oh, there you guys have it, guys. These are the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Powder Blue, guys. And I'ma say, I'm a big fan of these shoes. I think this is probably one of the best, this is the best Air Jordan 1 Low that came out so far this year. Well, it's it's kind of a, t it's almost a tie between the Beach Corals and these, but I really like this color blocking and I like the materials on these way better because the Beach Corals, it has that cracked leather, which again, I don't mind it. Some people might, some people, you know, maybe just want the regular Air Jordan leather just like this. So that's why I can appreciate something like this. And like I said, I feel like the trend is t moving towards lows as of lately. Like A is a little bit cheaper than the highs and the color blocking or the color colorways on Air Jordan 1 low OGs has been a lot better than a lot of uh, Air Jordan 1 highs as of lately. Nike and Jordan has definitely been doing things on Air Jordan 1 lows and the reselling these things are not that crazy. It's a little bit over retail on these things. I think these things already released in Europe, and that's you know that's probably why the price may might be down. But again, resale is not is not too crazy. These are touching like high hundreds, like 180, 170, I guess depending on sizes. Honestly, this might not be a bad shoe to invest in. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. The price is really low. I think these things have a lot of room to actually do some decent numbers down the road but like i said i'm just starting to see that trend going as of lately we have to wait and see how it goes but i just think this is a really nice looking shoe you know no resale no hype whatever it's just something that i personally like this is something that i could imagine wearing like all the time you know like going out whatever this is a dope looking shoe i can't wait to get my hands on these things hopefully on release day to get a retail pair if not i had to pay a little high to get these things a little do a little early review so you guys can decide if you guys want these things or not do end up taking l's i don't mind paying a little bit over retail just to get these things for the collection i definitely want to keep these things in the collection i wasn't able to keep the other past air jordan one low ogs i you know i actually end up moving it but you know kind of regret it i wish i could get those things back but Man, these things are actually really freaking nice, man. So I actually really enjoy this this shoe here. This is probably one of the best colorways and very I think it's kind of underrated. I think these things, I think these things are going to sell out. I think these things are somewhat kind of limited, you know, just like a, a lot of like how all, a lot of Air Jordan lows are going as of lately. They're not just they don't just kind of come everywhere. Like you may maybe do some little, you know, raffles here and there. But I think best way is gonna get these things are on sneakers. And hopefully we get a W. I don't know. I feel like these things are going to sell out and there's gonna be some L's, but Hey, I don't mind paying a little bit of resale to get these things. So definitely want to have this in my collection. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much in the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at GermanChris on IG. Subscribe on Twitter and don't forget Snapchat. And I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Peace.